Welcome back to another saucy episode of Mac Music Review. Today we're looking at some Christian rap. It's been a while since I've talked about Christian rap music on the channel. I used to do it quite often. I'm excited to talk about the misadventures of Fern and Marty. Misadventures of Fern and Marty. Um, did I say the name of the artist? Social Club Misfits. Also ignore this. Ignore this. Like blinding white light. I apologize, guys. It is not great conditions for filming outside, so I had to film in here. But the misadventures of Fern and Marty. It's like the second or third. I think it's the third, third or fourth um, Social Club Misfits album. Social Club Misfits, as the name of the album suggests, is a Christian rap duo that is Fern, who is the deep voiced guy, and Marty, who has a sense of humor. I mean, they both do have a sense of humor. They both do have some, throw in some comedy into their music. But, um, Marty is the goofier one of the two. And, um, this is an album. The tones and things balanced on the album range from, like, just really vibey songs, like Different People and Maybe, to, like, songs that are just bangers. Like, the, the, the banger machine has been cranked up to an 11 with songs like Vibes, 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 uh, Pop Out Revenge, who else? Um, and um, a couple other songs. You got Social Season, which is like a... Ba, 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 ba. It's kind of a banger. Um, and then you got some serious songs. Some songs that like to take it a little bit slow. Um, like songs like the love song Love For Real. Or uh, Misfit Anthem, which is pretty serious. Like it's a slower, more serious song. You got Way Back, which has those 80s references and things. Or 90s references or whatever, you know. Reference. It's supposed to be very heavy-handed nostalgia song with those lyric with that lyrical content, kind of like you know, Unbreakable by Owl City, getting a similar vibe uh, to that song. You also have the song "A Song for Cami," which is this really, really sweet and heartfelt song uh, by Fern, just kind of a song for his daughter and for his wife. And it's kind of like, I'm going to make this song so when I'm on the road and I'm not here, you can listen to this song and I'm there with you in the music. And like, it's a really like genuinely very good song. You also have one with the New Yorkers with words played on it, which um, is a vibey one. And what I got to say is when these guys are bringing the vibes, they are doing a good job. Like generally speaking, that is where Social Club Misfits, at least on this album, shine the best. On songs like Different People with that great uh, chorus by Tree Giants, an artist I'm not familiar with. Um, and then Maybe, Maybe is a really cool vibey song. You got the song, uh, One with the New Yorkers is just a massive highlight. The features, Words Played, and the other guy, uh, Amari, they do a really good job. And um, musically, that song is just very cool, cool chorus on there too um you got usual suspects which takes a little bit of a darker turn but that one's kind of cool it's got a good feature by willow uh St Steffens. If, if you know if you're wondering i'm looking at like i literally have the the cd right here so that's what i'm looking at um for the the songs uh yeah now uh for skips you know there's a couple highlights on this thing there are, there's like a good chunk of like songs that I genuinely like a lot and come back to. Um, Pop Out Revenge is just kind of whatever as a banger. The actual beat during the verses is not very good, even if the chorus is solid enough. Love For Real just falls flat for me as a love song. I, and generally, I'm very hard to please when it comes to love songs. Like, I'm just not a fan of love songs in general. And this one just doesn't stand out to me in any particular way or for being particularly good. Um... Looking at this track list, Time For That is actually a pretty fun song. I, I think I failed to mention that, but that is a good, like, not really a banger, more of just like a fun time. And it's it's a it's a fun song, Social Season as well. Way Back is a little heavy-handed and the nostalgia factor, and musically it doesn't do much for me. Musically and lyrically, this song is kind of a miss for me. And then Extra Wavy, this final song, the bonus track is fine for what it is because it is a bonus track it's very goofy very over the top it's not something that i personally enjoy but it's not the most offensive thing personally the misadventures of fern and marty isn't really my vibe like despite the fact that it does have plenty of songs that i like and really very few songs that i think are just skips or outright just not good at all 
Like, there's something for everybody here on, like, most of these tracks. But just on a personal level, this isn't something that I vibe with. This isn't something that I'm going to come back to very often. It is a little bit corny. It's Christian rap. The The production and the beats rarely ever are anything spectacular. They just, oftentimes, they will work really well when you also have a really good feature. And this album does have a lot of good features. You have a lot of big names. and Well, not big names, but you have a lot of names throughout the world of Christian hip-hop. And most of the people do a lot and add a lot to their features. With the exception, kind of, I guess, of Andy Minio and Who Else. I didn't really, I don't know if I said this, but I do not care for that song. It is, like, one of their most popular songs. It's supposed to be a banger, and it is just not doing anything for me. Like, I personally don't really like that song. But the album is, is decent. Like, I think it's totally fine. It's just personally not my thing. And because it's personally not my thing, I'm going to give it three stars out of five. I hope you like this one. I, I hope you, you in the comments, if you've listened to this album... I hope you are a fan of Social Club Misfits, and I'd be curious to know what are some of your favorite tracks off this LP? What are some of your least favorite tracks? What do you feel about Who Else? Because I know people really like that song. Like, I know that's one of their most popular songs. And I guess because of the Andy Minio feature. He's definitely the biggest name feature on this thing, but to me it is just kind of a lame song. And I'm a huge Andy Minio fan, and I, I think it's kind of a lame song. Um, just kind of missed the mark in the banger department. Leave that for vibes, vibe, vibes with Aha Gazelle, who just murders it. He's so freaking good on this song. But um, thanks for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day.